Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Fever today and today what we're doing, well, we're taking a look at this beautiful German Tier 3 aircraft carrier, the Rienen, Rienen. Um, I'm just probably going to call it the Rhino, <laughs> uh, no it's nothing similar to the name here, uh, I'm not sure what that supposed to be representing as uh, in German, but yeah, uh, we're taking a look at this beautiful German Tier 3 carrier and uh, you know all the stats of it uh, in the port here and then we're going to take it out into a gameplay see how she performs in a live action gameplay pvp gameplay yeah uh what these views mostly goes by what we usually do with these uh ships and tank reviews and all of that there guys uh yeah i mean after this we'll be moving on to the french ships uh i bet some of you couldn't wait to the front for the french again so <laughs> let's take a look at this my bad. Let's just go up here. First of all, you get uh, AP bombers. Uh, your hit points for these uh, bombers is 1,998. Maximum speed is 136 um, miles per hour. But uh, it's saying KT. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure of the number of aircraft. So try for that. Uh, attack unit size is two, so you get two of them. Uh, when you're attacking uh, aircraft per squad is six so you get six out of the squad only two be attacking um, direct range detectability range is two kilometers maximum bomb damage is 3081 damage okay and press you get a engine cooldown for it consumable duration 10 seconds reload time 80 seconds and number of consumables three of them then you get uh, torpedo bombers um, hit points 1712 max speed is 151 miles per hour attack unit size to aircraft per squad six uh, detection range is 9.8 kilometers uh, max damage torpedo damage is 4545 and again you get an engine boost as well consumer duration 10 seconds reload time 80 seconds number of them you get three then you get damage control party uh, consumable 60 seconds uh, duration uh, reload time is 90 seconds and you get unlimited of them then you get a fighter squad uh, consumer duration 600 seconds reload time is 40 seconds and you get four of these yeah and that's basically great I mean the boosters are just optional I just have these on the ship uh, the specs survivability uh, hit points of the ship is 32.300 32,000 hit points and 300 I'm sorry for that guys um, we have torpedo bombers, which uh, I probably should have just done here. Uh, hit points is 1,712 for the torpedo bombers. Max speed is 151 uh, miles per hour. Attacks unit size to uh, aircraft per squad six. Detection range 9.8 kilometers. Aircraft restoration restor time is 59 seconds. Max uh, torpedo damage is 4,545. Torpedo speed is 50 knots. Torpedo range is 2.5 kilometers. Then you have the dive bombers. Hit points is 1,998. Uh, max speed is 136 miles per hour. Attack unit two uh, per squad six. Detection range uh, 10 kilometers. Aircraft rotation rotation time uh, 55 seconds and max bomb damage is 3,081. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm struggling with that. Uh, Thing. I, I guess in English is pretty hard there, guys. Um, your set artillery guns, which is your secondaries. Uh, secondary armaments is 105 meter L65 DOP LC37. You get only two of these. Uh, range is 3.9 kilometers. Reload time is 3.3 seconds. Uh, max HE shell damage is 1,200. And firing setting chance is 5%. Yeah, the thing about German artillery uh, secondaries are just even for the battleships being somewhat sometimes will be especially in the higher tiers uh, could be large caliber you could still you have your secondaries bracing away and not get detected that's a, a pretty strange thing I'm not sure if that really does work on uh, console here but it does work on PC so do keep that in mind if you want to test it out in a PvE gameplay with your friends maybe uh, I probably should definitely try that out. See if it works here on console. I mean, should it should definitely work, but I don't really know. 
Uh, your AA, you have a 37 meter flak LM42. You get four of these. Uh, average damage per second, 45. Frame range is 3.5 kilometers. Uh, you get the 105 millimeter L65 DOP LC37. You get two of these. Average damage per second is 37. And frame range is 4.5 kilometers. You're actually your a, those 105 is actually your secondaries if you entirely recognize it and saying hey tank those are your secondaries yeah they are they they definitely are um your max maximum speed is 26 knots your turning circle radius is 760e uh radar shift time is 8.6 seconds and now you consume it the technical detected range by c is 10.6 kilometers uh, detecting range when the ship is on fire is 12.6 kilometers Detected range by air is 7.5 uh, when the ship is on fire from the air is 10.5 and grand detectability range is 2 kilometers yeah I mean the only way someone's gonna see you from the sea is if a destroyer gets past all your friend rays and actually gets to spotting range with you which then kind of means it's almost game over for you in somewhat a way but you could probably prevent that a little bit by sailing away from them or keep an eye out or keep notice that you are spotted so do keep that in mind uh we have the armor of the ship which i mean you always want to know about your armor always it doesn't matter if you're and now light tank you're in a carrier or a destroyer sometimes no armor is better armor that's what everybody says <laughs> which sometimes could be very true because i've seen some light tanks and world tanks bounce a shell a, bit, a large caliber shell or ju just bounce off of a turn sometimes but that's only lucky doesn't happen all the time and it doesn't happen all the time in here in world of warships uh, but mostly because world of warships does have a huge overpan mechanic yeah let's just uh, talk about the armor i guess uh the bottom is 20 meters thick the forehand deck is 16 the forehand plates is 16 as well foreign outward ship is 16 bottom 20 uh after deck is 16 Afton plates is 16 to 25. The Afton Arthur ship is also 16. The side plates are 16. And armor belt is 25. Okay. Uh, the top side plates is 10. Queen tower top is 30. Queen tower bottom is 20 as well. Uh, Queen tower side is 60. Oh, some seems like the most armor you're going to have on this uh, ship. Uh, side plates are 10. Then we have the deck, which is 16 to 20. Uh, Arthur ship is 16. Arthur ship again is another 16. Plates are 16 to 25. And then we got the Citadel, which is the Citadel bottom is 20. The Citadel armor belt is 20 as well. The Citadel deck is 16 to 20. The Citadel Arthur ship is 16. Yeah, I was getting it right. Uh, Citadel torpedo bulkhead is 20. And the Citadel Arthur ship is also 16. So let's look at the Citadel real quick. And, ooh, ooh, that is, mm, yeah, that's not good. Mm, no. <laughs> um, even, uh, even though you're a carrier and you do sit basically behind the map, sometimes you get these n games where your allies do die very quickly and just, you don't have much room to do things. And because of this tier, Sometimes you can find yourself getting killed or citadel pretty, uh, pretty much. And look how big that citadel is. I mean, yeah. I don't think you would want to get citadel uh, when you're playing this ship, but yeah. Like I said, though, the chances of that happening it is pretty slim. But when it does happen, your teammates are falling. But I would recommend if one flank is falling and the other flank is not, Go to the flank that is not falling. Stick with your teammates and use your aircraft to pepper the enemy ships on the other side of the map and follow your team to the enemy cap. Um, or if it's not that type of uh, game mode, uh, maybe stick with the side where you know there's no 
your your allies are dying and stuff. Um, because, yeah, <laughs> just giving the broad side of the ship just completely to the side of your enemies could worry hard. Especially a battleship hitting that. Even cruisers can somewhat get through the uh, that armor too. So, do keep that in mind. Mate. Um, yeah, that is the uh, the armor and basically all of the other stats. But what about my commander I use, which is the only German aircraft carrier commander there is. Um, his base stat is a barrage. Uh, secondary battery reload time is 1.5% uh, more. Uh, I put uh, swatching a flies, your anti-aircraft average AA damage uh, per second is 10%, uh, which if you upgrade, uh, give your captain more levels, you could actually get better. Then we have one-way ticket, um, torpedo damage is 1% more, and then I put uh, hidden threat. Uh, torpedo bomber detection range is 2%, torpedo bomber HP is 4%. I mean, if you want to go for the dive bomber one, which could be the second chance, the out of sight, uh, dive and skip bomb detection, uh, detectability is 2% more, and so uh, bomber's HP is 4% more too. Either one, depending on which one you want to go for, the bombers, which somewhat seems like a better idea, or torpedoes. Then we have heavy consideration, uh, aircraft carriers, AP, bombs, damage is 1% more, uh, aircraft carriers, AP, bombs, penetration, multiplier is 1%. I mean, what else would I pick for this, um, per, I mean, if you want to be a very stealthy carrier, you could probably pick the look at me now, see detection range, uh, which is basically means for your carrier to be more sneakier. Or maybe emergency power, aircraft cruise speed is 1% more. Um, it all depends on which way you want to take it on the, which one is this? The fourth perks, perk area. And my legendary perk, I pick Cross, Crux Crew, um, AP show and bomb penetration multiplier is 2%. Um, your special effects is incoming damage to your aircraft carrier. Is 20% less um, active when an ally ship is within a 1.5 kilometer range, which basically are a game when the game begins and stuff. I mean, if you want to go for a torpedo, I bomber one, which I probably should have just done. Um, I want to test out a little bit with the torpedoes too, but yeah, um, that's the way I do my commander. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to do any other way with your commander, different perks and stuff, uh, be my guest. It's your captain, it's your ship, it's your game. So, without even that said there, guys, uh, we've talked about the stats and all that of this ship, and I guess it's time to stop talking about the ship in the port, and we'll take her out into a battle and see how she performs in a battle for there, guys. I'll see you guys there. So guys, we're back on Sea of Fortress, I think that's what it's called. Um, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Uh, we are, though, very much bomb tiered. I don't see any tier 3s on my team. Um, except me, of course. And same with the enemy team. Uh, but I'm not gonna really spoil this game for you guys too much. Um, I gotta say, this game was a really good game today, and... Usually, you don't, like, get good games all the time. Um, I mean, sometimes you can get some really fun games and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah. Um, but what do I think about this ship? Well, at times, it can be pretty fun. Um, at times, like any other ship or tank, it can be just a one-sided idea or playtime with it. So, yeah. But this game right here was a... Mm, uh, just watch it. <laughs> um, I did something that it does seem pretty hard to do, but you'll probably see it once it comes out, uh, what we did. Uh, but yeah, um, at first I was just kind of getting like this rough feeling in the gut, like 
I didn't see much of my allies uh, actually going over to this side of the map. So I was hoping someone would actually get over here, but yeah, um, they did. And if they didn't, you probably wouldn't have not gotten this video. This was my first game today, and <laughs> I'm pretty excited that I actually got a really good game uh, for today. So, unlike my tank video, it was it was decent enough. Um, if you have watched it, please let me know in the comments uh, what you think of it. The Panzer M15 um, hybrid between Germany and Italy and stuff. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy about this game and uh, well, <laughs> we see a lone battleship, or at least I thought it was lone. And right there, there's a cruiser. I kind of don't want to go over there. But I really don't want to take my chances with those three American battleships. I think it all three is Texas class, uh, which is their AA would just rip me apart. Just one by itself would just rip me apart. But with three of them, yeah, I'm not taking my uh, chances with three. And this ship, he beat himself. So okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. He, there is a cruiser over here, so there's. Flat come from I think it as well, but he's on the other side. And we launched two torpedoes. Do they hit? Both hit. I was surprised they both did. I thought maybe one of them would have missed or something like that. I do make this little mistake and don't really do this too much. Um, I don't know why I did it, but now he's in the pool. He's gonna be going forward and these torpedoes look like they aren't going to hit. Um, I really don't know why I got a actual torpedo hit, if you've seen there. Um, I was surprised about that actually, but most not, it's not going to happen. Um, sometimes, if you feel with your gut feeling that it's going to happen, you're going to hit them, do it. If not, then, well, don't do it. Um, it's... I, I guess I took my gut feeling so like it would, would at least one of them would have hit. Um, I asked my allies to start shooting at him, at least, if they're in range. Um, they do see somebody starting to shoot at him. I don't know why they're way back now near me, but, well, not really close to me. They're just... It's kind of hard to say, I guess. <laughs> but we are hitting this uh, battleship, and I don't think he likes me hitting with three of uh, my torpedoes. Now, can we get another one? Let's see. Can we get two more torpedoes hit? Or maybe I'm one more. Mmm, dropped us too late. They were nothing about like, ghost shells or ghost torpedoes. Huh. <laughs> goes with it, I guess. But my allies are actually shooting him. He's nose in with him, so I'm hoping this can give me some kind of opportunity to hit him with a torpedo. Launch. Mm, no. Doesn't run as good. So it looks like we switched to our dive bombers. Which I was expecting to use against them, but. We are probably not going to be using them against him. Um, you'll be able to see what we do. I priority gave it away. Again, don't want to go over there because there's three Texases, which would just rip me apart with their AAA. AAA? <laughs> AAA! Um, just three of them are just. Oh my gosh. One is bad enough. But the three sticking together, yeah, not so good. But as you can see, I'm going for this cruiser. It's a Russian cruiser, I think it is. I can't really see its name. Um, but definitely, we are going to come in for a dive bomb. And I'm getting, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Point it up, I guess. We drop two bombs. These look like boom, a citadel with two bombs. That was good. Can we get near a citadel like that? Well, let's see. We'll, we'll 
We'll do it again. Reliant though. Come on, baby. Give me the guy. Sizzle and... Uh, I didn't think this was going to happen. No. Nothing there. Okay. Alright. Uh, I think I did get hit there a little bit. As you see, my nose and my ship. I was looking around like, who hit me? Because I don't see anybody. Okay. So, we go out. And I want put my carrier over there because I'm getting somewhat these funky worries maybe these guys hit me off my nose uh, I don't I probably shouldn't not put my auto drive on and stuff but you see me looking at this guy with low health I want to kill him because he's on low health get rid of the most at least one of the targets so always go for the lowest health person the guys uh, because if you can get rid of him, that's one less gun shooting at you, and boom, we killed him with dive bombers. Um, now we gotta worry about the other guy because he's gonna be shooting me and he's gonna be hurting me pretty badly. Uh, we have torpedo bombs on again, and as you can see, I switch. Always make sure you switch a little bit between the modes, uh, so that way you can get more time with both of them. And I gotta say, the dive bombers are pretty good, but we'll see if we can get some Tokyo hits on this guy. Very slow. I mean, he's at Texas, and boom! Two Tokyo hits. All aircraft gets knocked out. So I switch back to the dive bombers. Alright. Let's, uh, as you can see, he probably already hit me as, as I was talking. Um, he, I think, said that with me and stuff. And yeah, we're gonna go back for another run with uh, activating the boost so we may aircraft and go. He's shooting me again and he said that me. Yeah, that that wasn't good. That this was just felt like I was going to die pretty quickly. But we do detect something and I'm not worried about it at the time, but we get sit down that Texas. That weather felt so sweet getting sit down. Again, I'm going to I'm trying to switch um, to, I think, a different aircraft, but trying to also go over here so the way I could try, try to survive. Switch the torpedoes again. Okay. And I get hit again by that Texas. It looks like this allied battleship right here is trying to keep me alive. He's doing a good job of it too, and I think he actually did what mostly I wasn't expecting. We come in, put this torpedo run, and can we get this guy? Please, the torpedo just kill him. We just need this guy to be dead so the way we can. Yes! Got him, guys. He's gone, he's dead. Now we can worry about selling over this way, waiting to see if we can get some kind of aircraft back, at least. Uh, as you can see, we're down on aircraft a lot. Don't know why I did that for. I guess I was trying to launch the aircraft, um, which was my dive bombers. I like these dive bombers, though. They, they are pretty cool. Um, penetrating the deck to get to the citadel of an enemy ship, which is very good. Um, yeah. But now we're way over here, and <laughs> we're farther away from the fight than what I want to be. So I activate my boost. Remember, we only get three per uh, squadron for torpedo bombers and dive bombers and stuff. So do keep that in mind, man. Um, but yeah, this uh, dive bombers on the German aircraft here is definitely worth putting your points towards. Even if you do have a little bit of points towards for our um, torpedo bombers, your dive bombers are pretty much probably the better their kind. Uh, I did ask my allies if they could focus this destroyer down. Try and keep them spotted for my allies to kill. Them. And I have one aircraft in the air, in the flak. And I'm hoping maybe we can keep them spotted. My allies have shot them, but not enough to kill. So we switched to torpedo bombers. And now we are, how are you gonna say? Humping the map border? <laughs> um, yeah. 
something that I wouldn't recommend doing, but in an aircraft carrier, you're trying to stay away from the fight. I only have 2,000 health left, so as you can see, I'm trying to switch my auto mode to go that way. I think I did a pretty good job as in this game with the aircraft um, carrier. I usually don't play them too often, like artillery and World tanks. Um, they can be fun, yes, uh, but at times they can be also pretty boring and stuff like that. Um, again, I use my boost to get forward so I can torpedo this battleship over there. How many skills I got? I think I got three? Maybe two? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, but we are coming in for a torpedo run and this guy is beached again. Which is very low in health. I'm not sure if my torpedoes can kill him with this run. But we'll see. We launched both torpedoes. Come on torpedoes. Please get him. Please get him. Yes! That's one less battleship to worry about. There's one more left with a carrier and destroyer. And that destroyer is right over there. Uh, I would not recommend trying to shoot with torpedoes. Again, I ask my allies to so shoot them. Uh, one battleship is going to die over there. As you can see right there. No. Yep. He's dead. So, what's left is a battleship, carrier, and destroyer. Oh, well, let's see if we can help destroy this car uh, destroyer. We are aiming in, trying to hope we can get torpedo off. We do launch it. See, I stay to see if I can actually get him. But, mm, no. Not enough sauce, I guess you could say. But, we are under attack by a aircraft carrier with its dive bombers or torpedo bombers. It's going to be launching its torpedoes. My AA is shooting them, but not enough to get through. Yeah. Well, we're dead. Well, we're sort of dead, but sort of not. We still have aircraft left. As long as you have your aircraft left, you can still do something in the battle, even though I only have like three of these guys left. Uh, but, you see the destroyer, he's opening up his AA, I'm surprised, uh, he hasn't turned them off, because if you turn them off, you don't get detected as fast as you do with them on, so I'm, I'm pretty surprised about that, but it's low tier, so I guess, mm, okay, we're aiming up, we're coming down for the, uh, bombing run, and to be honest, we dropped them, what? Um, yeah guys, I was not expecting that, uh, that was just awesome, I, I, I was not expecting to get him with my bombers, we only have one guy left with my bomber, but we also have one ally left, which is the new Russian battleship, um, that if you have PS Plus, you can get for free, for Xbox players, I'm not sure of you, how you can get it right now, uh, they did say some about about the Xbox, but I'm not sure how. But yeah, that right there, just single by itself right there, I gotta say, dig. And I don't even remember, see, I can't really see the uh, damage this what I'm looking at um, in the screen, but our last A aircraft just knocked out. And now we have one guy left against us. Basically, a full health battleship and carry him. But one gun. And he's gonna die. Yeah. Try by we tried our best, but it was a defeat there guys. And honestly, I had fun. It was a good game for me. And uh that's probably gonna be it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to, and like always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.